are you guys? Very good. How are you? Good. Sorry, Tika. Great. All right. All right. Now let me invite on stage Dr. Nandita Shah from the Ashara Center. Ashara is a not-for-profit women's organization and resource center. Thank you so much for joining us today. As we unveil the latest edition of the Share the Load film. So, uh, please sit down now. All right. So, Julia, my first question is for you. Did, it's a million dollar question. Did Ritesh share the load during the lockdown? Yes, I think so, yeah. You think so? Yeah. 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 No, it's good. Fun? Yeah. I, I think uh, it's not only um, about the part that you're talking about. It's because we've known each other for yeah. a very long time. And um, from our first film, it's almost 20 years, 10 years of marriage. Um, so throughout our journey, we've always looked at each other as equals. Yeah. In terms of opinions, in terms of values, in terms of the kind of respecting each other's spaces, freedoms, and opinions. So um, even post marriage, wherever we did things, um, we've tried, it, it was never um, like this is your job, or not supposed to do this as a man and a woman, uh, more than anything else. Uh, I think, uh, so it, during lockdown, of course, we got to spend time uh, in a way that we didn't have to go out, we had to stay in the house, for almost uh, six to eight months to mm. a year. And um, at that time, um, it, was, it was fun to do things together. Yeah, it was nice to spend that time together as well. Yeah, yeah of course. Uh, Dr. Nandita, do you see some social change happening post the lockdown? Have, or have men gone back to their usual routine and you know, things have gone back to normal in a sense? You know, I must admit that when the lockdown happened, you suddenly saw so many men putting their photographs up on cooking and cleaning and even with broom in their hand. And I think what really changed was that the shame of doing this work was something that we questioned and men were okay about it. But suddenly, post lockdown, I think we're kind of going back to normal. And that is a question that we really think that a conversation like this brings back why do we have to go back? Why can't we go one step forward? And that is what I think the question of normalizing this whole conversation and what you raised saying, why are we not teaching our sons what we teach our daughter? Mm. So when you know a guest comes, we'll tell our eight-year-old daughter, beta pani le jao, but we never tell our son. And then you know he builds in himself an understanding that this is not what I'm supposed to do. So even when he is doing something, he is helping. It's not his responsibility. And that's what the conversation is all about. That really is what we have to change. Right. Ritesh, why do you think it is that men shy away from partaking in equal responsibility at home? I, I think um, uh, deep down, like ma'am said, it's important at early age to um, teach um, you know, boys um, how they see their mothers. You know, it's important as parents um, that you show your children that mother and father are equals. Only then will they learn how to treat their wives mm. or, or sisters. And it's, it's important. I think um, um, for a very long time, um, you know, being in a society that we are, and I'm not talking about long time, I'm talking about, say, you know, thousands and five hundred and hundreds of years ago, we've always seen men go out, strive to do um, more and women are at home but now women are doing today what men did forever and they are uh, probably doing it better than men and it's important to respect that space is important to respect that choice and I understand when ma'am says that you know uh, why don't we teach um, our boys what we teach our girls mm. and um, I all I think that today's generation or the or the next generation that when I see my children of course that's when I'm what I mean by next generation when they see that okay this is how my 
I'm not saying my father treated my mother, but I'm saying that this is how my father and mother treated each other. Mm. Um, that is important and that's what they should learn. And I'm sure that um, we as parents need to set an example for them to take this ahead. And um, that's, that's how it will begin at each, each. See, instead of telling others what to do, you practice at your home, yeah. you set an example at home. And if everyone uh, does that, in their own houses, I think we'll have a better country and a better world. Yeah, I absolutely agree. Uh, Janelia, do you see this change in the generational change that's happening? As way to you know go as well in many households I mean um, I'm one of the fortunate uh, households where we both share and there's there's a inherent understanding that if you're working I'll take over if I'm working I'll take you know it's just an understanding that doesn't have to be pronounced but it's done uh, it's done at every level but I do see it very often with my friends and you know where it's like but I can't do that I'm tired I mean like I always say being a housewife is very often taken for granted you know because it's considered as a no job whereas I in my opinion it's, it's the, the biggest job, job. Yeah. and it's still and yeah. it's a it's a 24 hour job it's a you 24 never have time hour off. job and no appreciation no you know no, no, no nothing to it mm. so very often that space is misunderstood you know what I'm saying like mm -hmm. like a, a, like probably some a man at the house is working will come back and say but I've worked the whole day yeah. but that doesn't mean that I didn't exactly. <laughs> you know exactly that's, yeah, yeah. So. yeah well what a lovely insight thank you so much C equal to share the load Janila that I can see that you really liked you know being a part of a partnership and you Ritesh as well so it's really lovely for you guys to see each other working together so hard on this and sending out this message because it's really really important okay on that note we have the new film on share the load which will po possibly give us some insight as to why we are not seeing more men take up equal responsibility of household chores today ladies and gentlemen attention to the screen and here we go as we launch the fifth edition of Ariel's share the load movement can we have the film please so, saw the film earlier today and um, you know so much of it is so true um, that um, you know men you know when you're living in hostels you have roommates you're fine doing the daily chores together you know someone is cleaning someone is cooking uh, guests come over someone and I have, I have been part of this mm -hmm. I have um, lived for two years in a hostel I was um, living in America with a dear friend of mine for over a year and sharing an apartment and um, this is the life that we had mm. and I'm absolutely you know I identify with two boys uh, being together and you know sharing the stuff uh, but uh, when I saw the film it was about a wife and the husband where you know many a times you see that uh, the husband's time is more important. He's a decision maker and he says, it's okay, we'll manage, we'll manage. He says we'll manage, but eventually the wife or the homemaker has to manage everything. And um, the simple thing is taken for granted. That's the bottom of it. You mm. know, the moment in a relationship, you don't take the other person for granted, everything is okay. And the first thing when you take for granted is the fact that you are not an equal. Mm. You, know, you feel you're superior, so you are taking the other person for granted. And that's where it goes down. Yeah, that's so true. And look, and in fact, what I took away from the film was how real it felt. It didn't look like there were actors playing the part. And that's what the beauty of it was, actually. I mean, this is how actual conversations between husband and wife take place. Yeah, I mean, I can see Janelia nodding her head is right women almost become invisible <laughs> <laughs> yeah well round of applause yes got the point of that so what a way for everyone here to kind of realize the emotion of women who are not seen as equals i welcome everyone to the first ever press con with invisible guests <laughs> because it's only when you see someone as equal that you're actually seeing them at all I wanted to come to you, Dr. Nandita. Akshara is known to be an ally in fighting gender biases at all levels, whether it's home, the workplace, etc. What do you have to say about the film? You know, when I saw the film, uh, it was really powerful. 
and we have been associated with Share the Load from the beginning for the last five years. And I think this conversation that Share the Load has started has had a huge impact. And we have worked even taking this to colleges and the concept of why is it that we can't share the load. So I found the film very powerful. And I think it's need of the hour and men have to start seeing women as equal. But equally important, women have to see ourselves as equal and assert us as equal. And I think somewhere that also is the point that's made. And that's the realization that uh, the person who is asking the question, you know, what's happening? Why am I not being seen as equal? And I think that is a challenge that we need to really take up today. Um, how do we make this conversation? And the film has just initiated a uh, woman as the person who's asking the question. And I think that if each one of us can ask and if men can realize this, we can really see the change that this conversation will bring. Right. And we want to bring this conversation to every living room and every place that why is it that we are not able to see this and what, as Ritesh said, that why are we not able to see each other and take each other for granted? So, you know, and we constantly keep raising this question. We, you know, men help in the house. I mean, no doubt that they come in and whenever they feel, but we are not talking about help. We are talking about responsibility. You know, if sugar is not there, he will be happy to say that I'll go get the sugar. But I'm, I want somebody to also say that, look at it and say sugar is not there. And I think that's the kind of responsibility we are talking about sharing. And I think that conversation is what we need to have today. Lovely. Janelia, what are your thoughts on the film? Uh, no, I pretty much agree with uh, Dr. Nandita. I think it's, um, it's true that very often we don't realize it at home. I'm, I'm even talking in, in the best case scenario where, you know, the, the man in the house doesn't really realize that he's taking so much for granted. And like she said, it's very important for the woman to also bring it forward that, you know, today I'm tired, can you take on the responsibility for the day? Or, or you know, but very often as women, even if you're tired, or even if you're not having a great day, or even if you want to do something other than that, you'll say, no, I'll do this. And then it starts catching up and then, you know, you aid it not being equal very often, I feel. Um, so yeah, it's very important as women that you stand up and you say that, you know, let's do this equally. And, and I'm sure, like I say, very often it's important to say that you need to do certain things. Like I remember when Ritesh and me um, were, you know, this whole distant education which had driven all mums crazy, like, you know, because it was like doing the teacher's work at home and it was tough and there were like I would do it five times a week and I would get tired by the end of it but, and I didn't even know why I was getting tired you know because I said I'm at home and you know it's fine and one day I just told him I said you know I think I'm tired or can you take up one day and he was like yeah sure you know the point of it is that You're I just thought out. that yeah. I could do it which I couldn't but when I told him can can you know just take up this one day he was more than willing to do it you of know course. so sometimes it's a matter of communication sometimes it's a matter of realization and sometimes it's uh, it's important that even if you don't realize it and someone brings it to your notice to figure it out towards the end yeah. of course very well said